Egypt is located in the northeastern corner of Africa, and the country includes parts of the Sahara Desert. It's a harsh environment where winds create prolific sand dunes that peak at more than 30 meters high. A whopping 96% of Egypt is officially desert. Most of the country is inhospitable, since temperatures can soar up to 50 degrees, and there is also very little to no rainfall. Egypt also has a large population of just over 102 million people, and 90% of the population live in the remaining 4% of the country's landmass, which is along the Nile River Valley and Delta. It has a rich history, being one of the earliest cradles of civilization. The agricultural productivity at the time made it the breadbasket for the region, and it has long supported large rural populations. Present-day Egypt is largely urban, the capital city Cairo is one of the world's largest urban agglomerations, with a large population of approximately 22 million people, making it the second most populated city in Africa. The city of Cairo was founded in the 4th millennium BC. Nearby Giza is the site of the iconic pyramids and the Great Sphinx, which attracts tourists from all over the world. Travel and tourism contributed to 5.1% of Egypt's GDP, which is roughly $22 billion in 2021. But during historical times of political and civil unrest, these figures dropped dramatically. It's been reported that many social and environmental problems plagued the city, from lack of decent social housing and modern infrastructure, informal waste management, poor air quality, and the city has also been considered dangerous for women. Water scarcity is a massive issue for the city and the country as a whole especially since Ethiopia is currently constructing a dam on the Blue Nile, which is the main tributary of the Nile River. As a result, Egypt is pouring $2.5 billion into desalination plants. Food insecurity is also a major concern, since Egypt imports more than 50% of its food and agricultural product needs. This is why Egypt is now trying to turn this around by investing billions of dollars into ambitious infrastructure programs to regreen the barren landscape and to create new farmland desert cities to alleviate the pressure of its megacity and become more food secure. But turning the desert into a farmland oasis is not always that easy. There have already been abandoned projects that have cost millions of dollars. However, over the last 40 years, Egypt has been making some astonishing developments, turning large areas of desert sand into agricultural fields by creating one of the largest organic farms in the Middle East, which has helped to improve the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. This transformation can be considered a major accomplishment, especially when a country receives on average three inches of rainfall per year. In this video, we're going to show you how and why Egypt is turning its deserts back into a farmland oasis. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. This thriving organic agricultural business called Sekhem has turned barren sand into a farmland oasis. They employ over 4,000 people with an emphasis on fair trade by creating a circular economy with profits being reinvested into vital infrastructure, which has increased production, such as building factories and installing modern machinery. Profits are also reinvested to improve the lives of the workers and their families. This is why Sekhem is more than just a business. It's considered a community, since it has provided hospitals and holistic healthcare, schools, as well as literacy classes for adults, inclusive training for women, and vocational courses for young people. It has been proven to be an exemplary model for any society or country that entrepreneurs like Ibrahim Abelayesh, the founder of Sekhem, can create immense change. It is an inspiring story of how human beings can work as a community and take it upon themselves to create a better system and way of life. It all began in 1977, when Egyptian-born Ibrahim and his wife Gudrun decided to move with their two teenage children from Austria back to Egypt. Ibrahim left behind his successful career at a European pharmaceutical company to follow his dream to make the desert bloom. Inspired by all the social problems Egypt was facing, he wanted to make a positive change. Ibrahim and his family chose to settle in a desert town 60 kilometers northeast of Cairo. When he arrived, he immediately began to plant trees in the vast sandy patch of desert. There was no water, no electricity or infrastructure. People in the neighboring villages were very skeptical. But over time, they saw the transformation which took place by using biodynamic farming techniques, which is a holistic way of growing organically. Today, the second mother farm is 684 hectares 
and it employs staff to work there and produce organic food. Compost is used extensively, produced with their own livestock and organic waste. They use climate resilient crops, natural pest management systems, crop rotation, agroforestry, water conservation and biodiversity reinforcement, all within a closed nutrient cycle. This removes the need for chemical inputs, increases soil fertility and crop productivity. Biodynamic also takes into account the phases of the moon that can aid better planting and harvesting of crops. This can speed up and increase crop yields, making growing more efficient. For farmers wishing to make the transition to organic agriculture and work with SECM, training in biodynamic methods is free. This allows for SECM to work with farmers from different locations along the Nile Delta, which helps for them to diversify their crops and reach. As a result, SECM runs a variety of successful companies producing organic products such as spices, tea and textiles from organic cotton and herbal medicines for local and international markets. Conventional tea from around the world is normally grown in monocultures using pesticides and in many cases the tea pickers do not have proper protection. People are underpaid with no health care given. This goes against basic human rights. The end product is unsustainable and unhealthy. Secum prioritizes the health of its workers, its customers and the environment. The organic production of peppermint tea protects the health of farmers and the life of the pollinators, such as birds, bees and other beneficial creatures, from synthetic pesticides. Factory workers who pack the tea work in safe conditions and receive health consultancies in topics such as nutrition, physiotherapy and lifestyle coaching. This promotes well-being in the workplace. Since its founding, the Tea Factory has implemented the core program, which enables all factory workers to engage in courses of art, acting, music, geography and many more to promote happiness at work. Secum has pioneered the first large-scale organic cotton production. Previously, it was believed impossible to do this without pesticides and cotton farms from the neighbouring fields to Secum were being treated from aeroplanes, which was affecting Secum's organic crops. So the community were able to change government policy to stop the planes from spraying. They even transformed the industry. And now, all the commercial cotton farms in the area have become almost totally organic by using Secum's organic agricultural methods. Second Heliopolis University offers degree programs for conscious sustainable development, economic solidarity, social responsibility, and environmental balance through a multidisciplinary, holistic approach, which intertwines theory and business needs. The campus practices increase solar power usage, wastewater treatment for irrigation, and conscious waste management and recycling. Common to all these activity areas is the drive to improve the lives of Egyptians by investing in individual education and sustainable livelihoods, conserving the environment and giving back to the community. Sekum is named after the ancient Egyptian word for the vitality of the sun, and it seems they have already lived up to its name to become a vital source of light and hope for Egypt literally making the desert bloom back into a farmland paradise. Sekum is regarded as a leading social business worldwide, and the founder received the prestigious Right Livelihood Award, also known as the Alternative Nobel Prize. Ibrahim passed away in 2017, 40 years after he founded the company. His legacy lives on through his son, Helmi Abelayesh, who has been one of Sekum's most dedicated supporters, and now serves as Chief Executive Officer. Sekum would not have been possible without the long-standing cooperation that has been developed over the years through the support of a network of dedicated partners built on trust in a fair and transparent way. Sekum was founded with the idea of sustainable development and the aim to build a prosperous future for the surrounding communities and Egypt as a whole through a holistic approach that includes the four dimensions of economy, ecology and cultural and social life Second strives to truly implement sustainability. The results have proven to be successful, and now what the world needs is more initiatives like this, created by conscientious entrepreneurs all over the world. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for more memes and eco news. 
and remember to subscribe to our new Spanish channel, Leaf of Life ES. We are a small team, so if you wish to support us, please join our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Until next time.